this is a Surface Pro 7, a new device we recently got into the studio. And yeah, I am really pumped up to go ahead and start testing it, start pushing it to its limits. But first, let's talk about the hardware. This is a Surface Pro 7 hands-on. So what do we see here in this hardware? This is signature Surface Pro with a fabulous matte black finish and, and design coming in at 1.70 1 pounds with dimensions of 0 0.33 times 450. And just looking at its 13.3 inch display with a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, you see not much has changed. This is still the very same Surface Pro, 4, Surface Pro design you've seen since Surface Pro 4 and I really wouldn't want that to change. I really do love this design. It's so lightweight, portable, mobile. I see. I really don't see any reason to change the form factor. And that's what I love about it. I can just pick it up and go. Now, of course, this is not the Pro 4, this is the Pro 7. So there has to be some kind of difference. And honestly, I do see a lot of difference. It just feels a lot more premium. Even the keyboard feels more premium, more clackety, more just more keyboard. And although it's a little bit shallower than the previous generation keyboards, I think it's worth it because it just feels better. Seeing about that trackpad, just in a few hours of use, the bigger trackpad makes a difference. Same with the glass, much higher quality glass. And you know what? Surface is about being premium about being one of the best Windows computers you can buy, and Microsoft has definitely stuck by those principles in building the Surface Pro 7. So let's talk about specs. So I've already mentioned the display, which looks beautiful by the way, but I do want to get on with it. So there is 128 gigabytes of storage on my model. You can get up to one terabyte, four gigabyte, eight gigabyte, 16 gigabytes with good speakers, uh, Windows Hello, and of course, your choice of Core i7, Core i5, and Core i3. Mine is the 8GB Core i5 with 128GB of storage. And honestly, it doesn't fly for some reason. It doesn't feel faster than the Surface Pro 4. Maybe I just need to break it in, but for now, it just feels normal. Just like any other Surface Pro. But I think when I start to demand a little bit more of it, I think I'll start to see more performance gains. Talking about that Surface Pen I have strapped to the side there, the Surface Pen is greatly improved over that of the Surface Pro 4. Much more responsive, much better tilt angles, and just overall better texture and feel. It makes me feel like I'm actually writing, instead of, you know, being compromised by digital ink. Anyways, that's the Surface Pro 7 hands-on. Please like and subscribe, and as always, 